Hello there everybody, it's UXW Bill here yet again, and this is just kind of a short little, well, hopefully short little video log kind of a thing. Some of the stuff that I've been up to in the four days, four or five days, that has been since I made a video. Let's see, what's been going on around here? Well, still waiting on parts for that thing, and still waiting on parts for that thing. So those projects are kind of on hold at the moment. And this Onkyo CD player, it's a six disc CD changer, and I picked this up cheap at a thrift store here in town. And um, didn't work as found, it was in a stack of equipment, a tuner, a CD changer, and a tape deck. And as of yet, I haven't really looked at the tuner or the tape deck. But as found, the CD changer definitely did not work. Turned out all it needed was belts, it was just having a little, uh, little mechanical trouble, but now it's working quite nicely and every operation happens just like it's supposed to so I need to get this thing buttoned up and it's probably going to eBay because I really don't need any more disc changers I have plenty of nice ones to use and in other news I did a little test show with uh, YouTube user Weasel2HTM after his show concluded on Thursday night I went ahead and uh, fired up my computer downstairs the keykeeper found his rather abused but still somewhat serviceable microphone and we sat down and we did a little test show. I spun some vinyl and I spun some CDs just to kind of see if A it would work at all and B how it sounded and I believe that on the sound front we did really well and on the video front we did acceptably well but I didn't get any screenshots so I have to try that again at some point. I am planning a wider scale test that I'll mention on my channel when I'm going to do it, but right now I'm waiting on some equipment to come in, and I'm also uh, planning to do some set decoration to make things look better than they are. We've got a Technics turntable here that's slightly sick. This is the good old SLBL3, and the pitch control is giving me fits on it. I think the control is dirty because the speed will change sometimes slightly, but perceptibly during a record, and jiggling the speed control always seems to fix it, so I'm guessing that it's dirty or has some conductive gunk in it or something like that. And then there's this stuff over here. Some of you have already noticed this, I'm sure. This was something my dad found at a garage sale today. There are over a hundred records in this pile right here. And he found these uh, being sold by someone on his mail route. He bid them $20. They had them marked 40 And they ended up settling for 25 and these records, I can only show you a small subset of them here, but they're pristine. They are just about perfect. A couple of them have some slight wear on them from being slid in and out of the jacket. But like I say, others, like this, uh, the best of Peter, Paul, and Mary, 10 years together, are just absolutely flawless. And the records themselves are pretty darn clean, too. I have this over here, a two-record set, 60s and 70s gold. This is the kind of thing I really get into. I think these are kind of cool ever since I discovered this genre when I started working at, working at my current job and heard them being piped in on the background music system. But these are popular rock and pop songs being played by a symphony orchestra, the London Philharmonic and the Soul Symphony. And there are a total of four records in the set there. It's a very good recording, but a lot of the arrangements on here are just plain ridiculous and unfortunately somebody tore the jacket up a little bit probably due to opening it over zealously I'll go ahead and play a little bit of it for you here on the good old JC Penny MCS 2230 you can see what you think this is one of the better songs And that's probably enough of that. So there you have pretty much everything that I've been up to as of late. So I'll just call this little video to a halt for now. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to tell me what you've been up to. And if you're feeling really ambitious, certainly do leave a video response for me.